All right, I'm here with part two, uh, with or day number two sneak peek, and uh, yeah, I couldn't find a picture for it. But anyway, let's just get right to it. So today is about this village guard thing, which it did take me a while to wrap around. I still probably am not wrapped around it. So if I say something wrong, please correct me in the comment section. I apologize. I am not 100% the best at this shit because this thing is very complicated. So. The first thing is, I guess this village guard thing is kind of like insurance. Where let's say you have this village guard and your iPod dies in the middle of a session. Well, you're not 100% at fucked. So, uh, yeah, so that means you're good. That helps. But I'm st very, oh, I'm so sorry. I almost dropped my phone. I'm still very unsure about this update. As much as I know, I'm pretty sure Supercell is probably doing the right thing for the game. And I'm sure with the loot and trophy changes, it's going to be for the better. But I am still very, very unsure. And that's probably just because, you know, as a clasher, you know, knowing this game very well, the dynamic in this sense has never really changed. And watching it, you know, change is just very strange. And... Yeah, so this Village Guard, I think it la I don't know, I think the max it can last is hours if I'm not mistaken and attacking doesn't affect it so there's no deduction if you attack you always have this village guard thing and you can get it three ways first way you can buy one for 10 sorry about that uh, you can buy it for uh, was it 10 gems like once a day I think that's two hours for the village guard Then, uh, you could get it from, like, a weak defense, where, like, if you get, like, 15%, or, like, if you get a crap defense, you get village guarded for, like, 20 minutes, or 15 minutes or something, just so you can log back on, rearm your traps, and maybe heal up your heroes, which is a good thing, because this village guard, this is great now, this thing allows, um... you know, not to be attacked a million times, you know what I'm saying? Like, this... This is very helpful, this village guard. You can practically get a 15-minute shield um, if you, you know, or whatever. Pretty much just by getting 50, like a weak-ass attack. So you're not going to get attacked back and forth and back and forth. Supercell, I guess, is emphasizing the fact that you should not be going on back-to-back -back defenses, which... I'm not sure, which definitely, you know, obviously, you know, and like, you know, obviously it's great for that, like, trophy pushing is no heroes, no clan castle, but the s thing that's great about it is, you know, that, you know, I'm not no longer not going to face a gazillion defenses at once, rather I can come on, get the thing, and then do it. I'm not sure how to break a village guard, even if, if there is a way to break it, I'm not sure, I think you can cancel it if you want, but I'm not sure. And the third way to get it, I think, is like the champ, like, just like, being in a league, I guess, gets it, so like, I think anything champions one and below gets like 15 minutes after your shields run out, Titans three gets 30 minutes, an hour, or it's like, I forget, it's like, no, I think it's 30 minutes for anything below champs, one, Titans three gets, uh, I think an hour, then two hours for Titans 2, and then Titan 1 and Legend. I think it's three hours. I, I might be mistaken, but it's around that. So pretty much, um, you get this stuff automatically. You can get it from, you know, people, f you know, royally fucking up on your base, or you can get it simply by buying one once a day. So once a day, you can certainly use it well. And yes, and then the another change is to the personal break. And if your shield is down, like let's say you have no shield, no guard, you can do three-hour sessions. Let me say this. Without a shield, please make sure you understand this is not... Holy shit. For a second, I just looked to my left, and I thought somebody was right there. That was fucking creepy. I just fucking jumped. But anyway, holy shit. My body just fucking had a huge-ass chill on it. Holy shit. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know what it was. I think I saw my hood or something. I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, let's get back to what we were doing. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the personal break. The personal break was, like, 
three hours if you're not shielded, dog. If you have a shield, I'm not sure the max, but like the village guard and the shield, it could be, I think, up to five hours, but I might be more. But something like that. But without a shield, you can do. You could do. Um, you could do three hours. So that's gonna change. I wish it was four hours because the whole like boost kind of you know you could do two sessions and you know two boost sessions and you know get kicked off. You know what I'm saying? But you know it's just gonna be interesting. Now, what's my opinion? I think a few things. I think the town hall snipe now is a town hall getting down at thirty percent. You want people to go for your loot. So my guess is a. I thought you know the that could be true, but. I say maybe make a troll base. Make sure people can get easy percentage, and once they get to the loot, they get destroyed. That's, I think, what you need to do. Give them the free trophies. Some, you know, lower level people will attack you. So they can, you know, because the town will still lose trophies. And I don't think they'll snipe, just just snipe. They'll probably snipe for the guaranteed win and then go for the loot. So I still think town will snipe, putting your town on the outside in the farming base is a good idea because you can still maintain your trophies, and if you need to gain trophies, because you lose so much from loot getting sniped a gazillion times, all you need to do is just put your town hall in the middle, and then you'll regain the trophies pretty easily. So, yeah, don't don't judge, please. I hate when people in the comments like, this game, this game sucks now, it ruins the game. No, you guys, this is two days into a 14-week... 14-week, that'd be fucking ridiculous. 14-day schedule, two weeks. You have 12 more sneak peeks... Supercell obviously delayed the sneak peeks for probably a month because of this, how important this update is, and they're doing it all in one hit. And I'm sure they've been working on this shit for months. And, you know, you guys know Supercell usually does a pretty good job with these updates. Are they a perfect company? Absolutely not. I'm not going to ride on their dick. I mean, I hate what they're doing to the war community. They need to give them more credit. Than they do. But, I mean, they made this great game, and overall, they've done a very good job with it. And sometimes it might look like they're money whores, but really, guys, they do. A lot of their moves are to better the game, and it's it's true. I mean, you know, the upgrades, and, you know, it just makes the game better. And that's what I want this update to do. And please tune in. Watch the other videos first. Please, if you guys are tuning in, make sure you take some tips, because I'm Really trying to give you guys, like, what this info is in case you haven't watched it, which I'd be shocked if you didn't at this hour. But, um, the key here is get some tips from me in case you didn't get it. Because I'm trying to, you know, look at this and figure shit out. Because I'm trying to think of what you should do. But, so far, this is game-changing. Is it good or bad? I'm not sure. My guess is with the loot and trophy offers are going to change, my guess... And I hope they change the trophy offers because I've noticed clouding and six trophy offers in fucking Masters 3, you know. Masters 3 and Crystal 1, I'm seeing this shit. You know, Crystal 1 is not a high trophy count at all. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. You know, this, this, this whole thing is just mind-boggling to me, and I've never seen something so complicated. But, you know, once this comes in, this should be fine, and everything should be alright. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and girls, in case any girls are watching. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you people very soon. Peace.